How do we look? Do we look good? Yeah. Do I look beautiful? You are lovely. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Talking Fae, where we talk about the last issues, the last episodes. I'm gonna do that one again. I'm Ben, and this is Nick, and we're talking Fae. I'm sorry, what? but there's no audio. <laughs> Oh, well, that's not a problem. Okay, so I'll go first then. Hey, adventurers, welcome back to Talking Fay and this week's episode where we're covering the last two episodes of Into the Fay, a module that we here at Peak D&D are running. Uh, you can check out all of those episodes on our channel. If you want to get in on this Kickstarter and run Into the Fay for your own group, check out Luke's, Luke Hart's, the DM Lair, the Kickstarter link in the link below. We don't have a script for this show because that's how we like to keep it. That's so how we this, roll. This intro is all over the place. I'm Ben, and I'm here with Nick, our DM. This is the first time he's been on a talking phase, so we have a lot of important questions that we're going to get to. But first, a recap of the previous two episodes of Into the Fae. Nick, would you like to kick us off this time? I don't see what choice right. I have. We have one minute, 30 seconds each. I'll pick up when Nick's 30 seconds are over and hopefully not make a huge mess of it. So here we go. And one minute, and go. Okay, so last time on Into the Fey, we had traveled through Teleport Pool to the land of uh, rainbows and fairies. Uh, they fought an evil dryad and her enslaved plant minions, who all of whom acted like theatrical uh, romantic era knights. Uh, eventually, you punched her to death, and then a night hag showed up. Oh no! So they ran away from that. Oh, yeah. uh, you ultimately managed to rescue the elven kids that were stuck in the uh, fairies and rainbows. Time's up, my kill. turn. So we rescued the kids. We brought them back. We sort of like stood guard for no good reason without going through the portal. We explored the rest of the cave. We found the, the last room that the guards, that all the dead guards hadn't gone to. And then we jumped back through the pool, came back to town, had a laundry list of errands we had to run, uh, talked to a bunch of people, including my own father, uh, Jastian's father, Lionel Lysanthier, and that went super well. Uh, oh, Gord has an eye patch. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> How could I forget the eye patch? That was the most oh. important thing that happened. <laughs> So, I think that was a pretty comprehensive look at everything that happened, obviously. If you haven't checked out the episodes, you should definitely watch them. I thought we had a ringer with Nick in there, and I think he definitely covered all the important stuff, for sure. I didn't uh, mention the eye patch. So this was our first real venture into the Feywild. And, uh, I mean, how how do you think the group did? We didn't die. That uh, was good. Well, you sure didn't. Uh, <laughs> I think that there was a realization pretty early in the evening that the group was not necessarily at full strength. Uh, we figured oh, out yeah. that you guys kind of wandered into this adventure without taking a long rest. Yes, so the, we were in a conservation mode. The backpack ex machina, as I like <laughs> to say. We didn't, we keep forgetting to buy healing potions. One day we'll learn our lesson when you'll teach it to us, Maybe. like, harshly. But uh, yeah, so we, we did have two. We had the two that uh, were, we found in the loot at the, at the end of the adventure prior the, to this, before yeah, going the to the dead forward. town guards remembered to buy potions. And then we had, we had we had gotten a few more, and thank God we did, because we used all of them, I think, before we left the Feywild, which was uh, <laughs> certainly, uh, uh, <laughs> lessons were learned, right? And, and that, that was, remains to be seen. We went back to town, and we were like, okay, let's get some potions. And they were like, and, well, your NPCs were basically like, oh yeah, you can't just buy those at the store. Oh, that's right. We went back to, uh, <laughs> we went back to, uh, what's his face's store? The, 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 the pit, pit pop, popsicles. Pit and, like, pit and pop. Pit and pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pudding pops. And, uh, I remembered that. All right. I'm glad you did. <laughs> that was super fun. Bardic um, knowledge. Know your bardic knowledge, kids. Keep your rolls <laughs> high. I want to talk mostly about m my character, big surprise. Um, <laughs> but let's talk about, so, so we went to the temple. First of all, and we and with Gord because Gord was blinded by the night hag. Yep, uh, that just was, like the song. Yeah. Blinded by the, the night, night hag. hag. That's all we can <laughs> sing of that without getting copyright. Yeah, uh, so please don't report we're, us. We're done. Please. So, uh, what what would you have done, Nick, if we had decided to try to fight the night hag? Would she have run? Would she have like killed us right there? Um. She was, I had a few, uh, hey, don't mess with this lady, she's really dangerous kind of things to do. Okay. I figured that uh, covering Illensworth and bees would have been uh, a nice uh, a nice opener to that. That was, that was fantastic. 
We were chased by the bees. You never got stung. He never got stung by any bees. Nah, once you uh, once uh, you guys started hauling ass out of the uh, <laughs> out of the Feywild, yeah, I think she we, basically let you go. But oh, uh, yeah, and she could have like ended us right there. I'm assuming, but there was more. Well, you are level two and just had your shit kicked up and down oh, this yeah. forest. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, Some rather gruesome things in the Feywild too. There was like, I mean, the 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 enslaved children. Not necessarily gruesome, but certainly like sobering. And and I think that well the I guess really the entire squad of dead soldiers was <laughs> that was pretty fun, uh, except for the the one guy that we needed who had the thing that we needed the ring ah, that we got yes. back from him that was important we forgot Sergeant forgot Maples back. and his Maples uh, Timothy the sole survivor Timothy Marples. And sure, why not? <laughs> We're sorry, Luke. Please don't be mad at us. <laughs> we have a tradition in our group that we bastardize every NPC's name at least once. So. Oh, that, uh, that's a great relief to me, because I feel less bad about uh, butchering your name all oh, the damn time. Yeah. Well, Jastian... So, who are you? Are you Illensworth, or are you I, Jastian? I'm one of the two. Don't bother telling think, me. I'll yeah. forget. Then we get to... We, we set up a meeting with my father. And so, I, I don't know if you were expecting me to invite him, or to, for me to go to his house. That was a tiny bit of a curveball. Uh, yeah. Both I and he expected you to uh, to uh, show up on his doorstep to uh, presumably to lick his boots. Yeah, as far the as he prodigal was son returns. Right? Uh, yeah, he was a little taken aback when you invited him to come see you at your room that you rent. Yeah, so that was that was I, I was I was thinking I was like okay I don't want to go home with my tail tucked between my legs and I need like a little bit of a an edge mm -hmm. and I was like okay I'm gonna like neutral territory right like. This is, this is just a place, but that, I didn't even think about that power dynamic, that it, I was, we're renting a place there. He doesn't know we got it for free. We got a gift certificate. <laughs> is this still good this year? If this is the last year we were out Yeah, it says it's expired and it's to a different <laughs> end, but you know. That conversation was the, the biggest question mark. I had been like, I've been putting it off for about four episodes now. I think like three or four times somebody suggested it, and you like, hey, uh, oh, we'll have time for that later. Was just a let's, flat no let's, on it. Let's go do an adventure. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. What were you? And I don't want not don't give too much away, but like, were, were there things you were expecting me, Jastian, to ask his father that I didn't ask, or were there things that I did that surprised that Jastian did that surprised Lion? Uh, well, yes, on both counts. Uh, you definitely had some armor-piercing questions that you almost rolled high enough oh my God. to get some hints on. The rolls but, uh, were so bad. Just did not happen for you guys, so yeah. I'm sure that's fine. Poor conversation skills. But... Oh, yeah, you definitely threw him off guard. You, 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 you hit kind of the major beats I was expecting you to be curious about. Yeah. Um, there were, you know, there was some, some, perhaps some planting involved when yes. you had your yes. conversation mm -hmm. with the queen below. There was, that was a very important, uh, 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 conversation too. We actually did a peak interest video about it too. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out too. Yeah. It's watch so, that. Yeah. It's about Jastian and the altar and, uh, sort of how we make decisions in our life and how that affects and what to do when you don't know what to do. Because I certainly had no idea what to do with that situation. One of my favorite parts about playing this campaign and getting to role play with you as a DM and, and just like, cause, cause we can go there. We both have studied improv and, and everyone in the group is, we're just like, it's a really fun, like just role playing exercise and really getting into the RP of the game. And the module is really set up like well for that, I think. Mm -hmm. There's um, a lot of space for stuff like that to happen, which is one of the things I like about it so much from a design perspective. It's prescriptive about uh, the setting, it's about about the antagonists, about the places where all of this stuff happens and what happens, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of space in it for you to put your characters you know, into Airedale and the surrounding area and just meet interesting people and have, uh, have fun conversations with them, which yeah. is something that I can't do without in my games. Yeah, that's, I mean, that, that's awesome. So good on you, Luke. Uh, again, if you want to get into the Kickstarter and pre-order your module of Into the Fae, you can check out the link in the description below. Nick, before we go, is there any uh, shred, inkling of a clue that you can offer to us as the player and, and the audience? Uh, mm. Is there something that we should be on the lookout for? Or, or sh is there something that we sh haven't done that we definitely need to before we start? Uh, buy your health potions, kids. Uh, well, in addition to that one, <laughs> wear shoes. Oh, right. Shoes. Okay, well, that's just going to keep me up for about three days. So, fantastic. Thanks for joining us here on Talking Fae. 
I'm Ben. This is Nick, our awesome DM. Thanks for joining us on Talking Fae this week. Uh, next week, it'll be a whole new brand new cast of characters from the rest of our group. Uh, and we will see you next week. Check out all the videos. Like and subscribe. Cast Big Beast thumbs up. Drop that notification, the warnings around the notification bell, so you don't miss a single episode as the channel levels up. And until next time, we'll see you at the peak.